Hard to sit down. <laughs> they don't make these suits an extra fat. <laughs> okay. Now. <clears throat> All right. Now, gentlemen, here's how to work. I have the time bubble and the device. When I get us there, and I open up the uh, location to the lab. We only have a few seconds, possibly seconds, to deal with. I'll fire and trap him. If I trap him in the uh, bubble, I'll immediately, uh, he'll be in our possession, so there won't be any reason to uh, discharge weapons, but you must have your weapons at the ready at all times. Okay, let's check our communicators. Everybody working? I understand. If anything goes wrong, I can push the button again on the Tesla device and get us out of here. Okay. Now, our best estimate is we have literally uh, five seconds for me to properly locate him and fire the device. All right. And then we have exactly five minutes or less time to get out of there. All right, so let's all stay together. Let's all get in a group. Weapons at the ready. If I fail to lock on him, immediately fire. Fire all weapons. Don't hold back one thing. Just immediately go to uh, full combat. Um, that's an order. Okay. All right, gentlemen, I'll see you there. You get ready. When I fire the device, it will open up the stream. Everybody get behind me and around me. And then I put this in front, fire again on him. Hopefully everything goes without a hitch, and we're back home in a minute. Nobody even has to pull a trigger except me push this button three times, and we're home. Okay? All right. God bless, gentlemen. Good luck. Ready. And we have ignition and launch. Fire.
Do you see me? Stay lit. Come on, stay lit. Son of a bitch. All right. All right. Wake up. Come on. Thank God this guy smokes. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. That's an order, soldier. Get up. They're all dead. Oh, Lord. I gotta find my light. Dead. Hello. Mayday. Mayday SOS. Mayday. Mayday SOS. Mayday. support. I can barely breathe. What happened? devices. You didn't win this time.
special report, Dr. Andrew Michaels, May 31st, 1947. I am the only survivor of the detail sent to stop the alien scientist. I was preying on the people uh, of planet Earth. I just returned. Mission was marginal success. We did capture the alien scientist in the time bubble for future study. His lab, the planetoid that it was on, was completely destroyed. I have recovered two of his devices. kind of fiber optic sensing device it appears to be an eight and uh, broken it was destroyed at the moment of contact this device still seems to have some energy in it even though it's a little tangled Appears to still be working, but uh, not in working order. I don't know if its power source is uh, transmitted to it. I'm not sure. Further study will be needed. The entire Ranger outfit that went with me. Let me start at the beginning. We um, used the Tesla device to enter his lab. And when we did so, at the moment of contact, his defenses reacted at the same time I fired the device and captured him in the time quantum time bubble though we made him a prisoner the entire lab around us was destroyed I was left in the rubble I'm not sure if the proximity to the alien scientist Quite possible or the Tesla device energies spared me I would guess possibly at this point in time that the uh, proximity of he and I together and the fact that I had him in my possession at that moment of the explosion um, might be some kind of self-preservation saying thank God thank God thank God so thank God Sergeant Carter smoked his matches I was in total darkness if it wasn't for a pack of matches on his being I never would have been able to uh, find my device reprogram an escape pattern and execute a execute an escape I did bring them back I didn't leave them there can't even imagine. I 
finding an enemy. The second you get the upper hand with them, he literally destroyed the entire minor planet that he was residing on. You could barely breathe the air. There was barely enough oxygen to light a match. You could tell everything was coming apart. You see, when you start to think about it, if an alien race wanted to conquer the Earth, they would just send one missile, one bomb, and not an atomic weapon. They would send some kind of biological genetic device, wipe us all out all of us and start over fresh there would be no reason to save any of us not for a food source not for conquest not to rule over not to reign over not to be gods for we're just they're past that they've evolved way But there is one thing all sentient beings have. Their higher reasoning. And their ability to dream travel. That's right. It's the only thing that separates us from the plant and animal life around us. A sentient being can travel to other dimensions, other worlds, through his mind, through the chemical cocktails that are inside our minds during dream state and in the time of our death. And that's what they want. They want our stream of consciousness, our collective group consciousness it's the only thing worth attacking conquering and controlling us he didn't know we were coming but his programs his defensive programs take into account where we came from and almost all of my lab here at the Pentagon was destroyed at the same time within microseconds of the lab and that planetoid being destroyed I came back to this to this mess so many people are gone I didn't going to happen. If anybody sees this tape, please forgive me. I did not know. My superiors didn't know. None of us knew. Military, milita military or civilian, none of us had any concept that they would retaliate like this. Counter's going off like crazy. I can't stay here much longer. I've got to go get help. I'm sorry for what I did. I'm sorry for the families and their loss. But I've got him. And I'm adding him to my collection. This is just one part of a, of a war we can't afford to lose. Any direct assaults against them are going to end in a similar fashion. We've got to be smarter than that. Our enemy is so far advanced, we've got to evolve a lot quicker. I'm going to take the subject that brought the 
transformed octopus to us. I'm going to take her. I'm going to get her out of here. There's an infection in me and her. I've got to get it removed. A poison from the octopus. I didn't know until I did a biological scan on myself when I returned. I was checking for radio, radioactivity and I found a foreign biological body in my shoulder area and I was struck. She's got it inside her back. I've got to get it out. I can't stay here. I've got to leave. You're going to have to forgive me. To Congress, to the President, to the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the Joint, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, don't stop. Don't back down. We can get through this together. There's no surrender. If we lose this war, there is only death. Dr. Andrew Michaels out.